Super Elastic Tires Super Elastic Tires are non-pneumatic tires. This innovation, called the Super Elastic Tire, was developed for future Moon and Mars missions, but is a viable alternative to pneumatic tires here on Earth. The novel use of shape memory alloys capable of undergoing high strain as load-bearing components, instead of typical elastic materials, results in a tire that can withstand excessive deformation without permanent damage. The Super Elastic Tire offers traction equal or superior to conventional pneumatic tires and eliminates both the possibility of puncture failures and running underinflated, thereby improving automobile fuel efficiency and safety. The wheels of rovers have been one of the biggest technical difficulties encountered on the space missions. There's a substantial damage through the rough Martian terrain. Even on flat hard ground, the rover has a top speed of just 0.15 km per hour. Yet the snail's pace still had enough force to tear holes into the aluminum wheels of the rover. The engineers have some strict criteria that made the job more difficult. The wheels need to be stiff enough to support the weight of the rover, at nearly one ton that isn't an easy task. The wheels need to be as light as possible to reduce launch costs and must to be able maintain traction and navigate the unpredictable Martian terrain. The new, new, Curiosity, rover is much heavier. Each wheel on the rover is about half a meter in diameter and 400 millimeters wide. Milled from a solid block of aluminum, the Mars rover wheels are milled down to just 0.75 millimeters thick over the majority of its circumference. Damage here isn't all that surprising, 0.75 millimeters thick is the same thickness as a credit card. Temperatures on Mars can dip as low as minus 130 degrees Celsius. Temperatures this low would transform rubber from an elastic material capable of absorbing stress to a brittle glass-like material, making it useless for this application. Rubber would also degrade from the UV radiation it would be exposed to on the surface of Mars. A tire includes a plurality of SMA springs. Each SMA spring is interlaced thereby forming a laced structure extending about an entire circumference of the tire. SMA is used to increase the amount of deformation that spring tires can undergo without incurring plastic deformation. This is accomplished by utilizing the shape memory alloys to form supporting springs. A super elastic shape memory alloy, for example .nit alloy, can be subjected to strains, all which is recoverable i.e. devoid of plastic deformation. A spring tire made from shape memory alloys can be virtually impervious to plastic deformation. A tire comprises a plurality of shape memory alloy SMA, springs. Each SMA spring comprising a first end portion interconnecting the other end portion. Each SMA spring is interlaced with an adjacent SMA spring on a first side of the SMA spring and further being interlaced with an adjacent SMA spring on a second opposite side of the SMA spring thereby forming a toroidal structure extending about an entire circumference of the tire. When driving over pointed rocks and gravel the stress exceeds the yield stress, and thus the wheels are gradually picking up permanent damage, and eventually cracks will form and the material will fracture. So SMA was used instead OD solid milled metal wheels like L. Deformation occurs slightly differently for nitinol, as it has some unique properties due to the internal crystal structure. When nitinol is below a certain temperature it has a crystal structure called martensite. Its crystal structure is arranged in such a way that it can accommodate deformation very easily. When stress is applied the grains deform and align to best absorb the stress. This, like the dislocation movement in other metals is permanent, without external energy providing the energy needed to revert backwards, but nitinol can get that energy from heat. Upon heating the nitinol forms austenite, an ordered and regular crystal structure, which effectively resets the crystal structure, and when the nitinol cools again the nitinol remembers its original shape. It was found that SMA springs of the tire may be resilient through a range of deformation, and thus a relatively rigid frame may be used to connect the tire to the wheel. These springs may be interlaced. Other springs and or supporting structures may be incorporated with the tire at any bias angle, from radial to circumficial, with the purpose of distributing load. These other SMA springs can be put in some kindoff, i.e. a tread, may be added to protect the SMA springs from impact damage and to change the tire's ability to float and generate traction.